at Air Show China, which took place in Zhuhai last week. China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation CASC, had marketed new supersonic anti-ship cruise missile ASCM, the CM-302. IHS Jains believes the CM-302 to be closely related to the YJ-12 ASCM, which utilizes a ramjet engine to cruise at supersonic speed Mach 2 at low altitude to over Mach 3 at high altitude. However, it is not clear if the CM-302 is in fact the YJ-12. Shepard Media reported that the YJ-12 is the export variant of the YJ-18, which accelerates to supersonic speed during its terminal phase. Notes and Comments If the aim is to directly compete against the Indo-Russian Brahmos, then CASC will have derived the CM-302 ASCM from the YJ-12. Supersonic cruising is one of the Brahma's marquee features, which imbues it with a higher threat rating than subsonic anti-ship missiles, such as the Exocet and C-802. A look at the CM-302 ASCM as shown at Air Show China 2016 clearly shows that it has intakes for an air-breathing engine. The design is identical to the ramjet-powered YJ-12. However, as with all export-grade missiles from China, the CM-302's range is capped to 290 km. CASC has been working to offer a direct analogue to the Brahmos since at least 2014, when it had unveiled its CX-1 ASCM, which was envisaged with a scramjet engine aviation week. The CX-1 appears to have been discontinued in favour of an export-grade YJ-12. The YJ-12 was cleared for use from the People's Liberation Army Navy Plan SH-6G bombers and JH-7B fighter bombers U.S. Department of Defense. The Plan and People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF were also in the process of integrating the YJ-12 to the respective J-16 and J-11 fleets IHS James. The CM-302 is expected to attract a strong customer base especially since it is among a handful of cruising supersonic ASCMs on the market. China's leading conventional arms plant Pakistan could be viewed as a strong potential CM-302 customer, which could utilize the CM-302 from land and potentially even surface warships and submarines to bolster its anti-access and area denial capabilities.